Hello everyone, welcome to our F9 revision course. This is just a short introductory session to discuss how the course is going to run because if you've done some of the other MAPIT courses for revision, this will run very slightly differently and that's because of the way the F9 course is structured or the way the exam is structured. So the exam is four 25 mark questions. Now that's different from other exams like for example the F7 and F8 exams because those exams have uh, five questions and they could be differing numbers of marks depending on what the examiner wants to do. Also each of those exams has questions that are specific so question one will always be in a certain format for F7 and F8. Question two will be in a certain format so that's not the same for F9. Each of those exam questions for F9 can be from any syllabus area. Now it does broadly speaking usually follow uh, the structure of the syllabus in terms of question one is generally from discussion around investments, financing and dividends and growth and shareholder wealth but not always that can be back to front. So we can't really say, well, look, in question one, this is what you expect. Question two, this is what you expect, which is usually how we structure these revision courses. So all uh, the marks will have the same number of marks, or all the questions will have the same number of marks, all 25 marks. So rather than focusing on questions, we're going to focus on the syllabus content. So as I said, usually for a MAPIT revision course, you would have right here's what we expect in question one let's look at all question ones and then let's look at the question twos let's look at the question threes etc that's not how this one will work what we're going to do here is we're going to recap the syllabus content and then for each of those syllabus areas we're going to apply it to an exam question so we're going to look at syllabus content in a shortened format, maybe do a small illustration and then we'll apply it to exam questions because that's the key here really is applying what we know to the exam questions. So we'll focus on exam technique. So what exam technique do you need to pass F9? And we'll look at what marks are available for each question and how you can best pick those marks up so that you can pass more easily. Now one of the key things we'll talk about uh, quite a lot on the F9 revision course is knowing the basics really well. In fact, for all SCCA courses, the thing you need to do is cover all of the syllabus and know the basics of it really well, rather than knowing some areas in a lot of detail and other areas not at all. That won't work. You won't pass. So we need to look at all of the basics, know them really well, and see how we can apply it to exam standard questions. So once we've done plenty of exam questions, looking at exam technique, looking at the syllabus content and summarizing it so that we know those basics really well, well then you'll be ready to try the mock exam. So there's a mock exam paper to do. It will be a full three hour past paper. So you'll need to do it under timed conditions. So you'll have 15 minutes reading time and then do the full three hour paper in a three hour period of time, not one hour here, then another hour somewhere else. You need to take the time to do it under those conditions because that's what will prepare you for the exam. You can then go through the recorded answers that will be on the website. Check how you've done, mark it really carefully with the examiner's marking scheme and that will give you an idea of where you are prior to the exam. Now from that point on, you need to try as many exam questions as possible. So we'll have done a lot of them throughout the course and you'll have done another full three hour paper at the end of the course, but that's not enough. Once you've finished the course, you need to keep going, trying as many questions as possible so that when it comes to the exam, it's just another day. It's just another exam question, just like all the others that you've already seen. And even if something comes up that you're not sure of, you'll be able to deal with it because you'll be confident. Because you'll have tried lots of exam questions, you'll know that if this bit doesn't go right, if you're not sure of one area, you'll always be able to pick your marks up in another area because you've practiced so many questions. That's the way to pass F9. 
to have seen so many questions that nothing's going to throw you in the exam. So that's what we're going to do. So you're ready now to get stuck in and start the revision course with lecture one. So let's go and do that now.